Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the popular dispersion effect that works great to make your photo look like the object is shattering away or breaking into pieces or splatters. Now, the first thing that you need before we do this tutorial is to download a set of these grunge splatter brushes. I'll add a link in the description box below so that once you've downloaded them, you can select your brush tool click the drop down menu and click this triangle here and then head over to replace brushes here you can f open up the file that you've just downloaded and there should be a .abr adobe brush file there and you can just click on it and open and photoshop will load it into your panel for you to use so the next thing that you want to note is that the photo that you're using has a generally clear or solid background. If not, you can cut it out of the background and put it on a solid white background. But for my photo, it's a solid blue background. So now what we want to do is begin working on a new layer. So click Shift, Command N, and hit OK for a new layer there. And then grab one of these newly opened brushes and we're just going to try to make a few splatters in the direction that we want this to go. So in the guy is moving to the right here, so we want to make these splatters slowly falling away and fading to the left. So I'm just going to use a combination of brushes here. Don't be hesitant to adjust the size to fit your photo. and just keep using different brushes don't use the same one too much or else it'll look repetitive and try to give it that real sense of direction so once you have your effect in the area that you want we have to make it look like it's the guy's body falling apart or the girl I think that's a girl but either way what you want to do is take your original layer and hit command J to duplicate it put it over that layer that you just made and use alt option and command G so alt command G and it should create a clipping mask that is also under layer create clipping mask if you don't want to use the shortcut now what you want to do is head over to filter liquify and grab the very first brush here the forward warp tool at a brush size of about half the size of your object so something that fits your object and a brush density of about 70, brush pressure about 60. Slowly stretch the end of your object out. So don't worry if it looks cartoonish here. We're just going to keep spreading it out. I'm going to use a bigger brush size here. Try to keep the proportions the same and the sense of direction in the pattern that you were using the grunge brushes in. So once we've got that stretched out, you can go ahead and click OK. And depending on how old your computer is, it might take a while. But once Photoshop loads up the results, you can see that we've filled up our pattern here with the color of the guy but there's a few spots that don't look right so grab your smudge tool here and increase the brush size a little bit with the strength of about 70 try to fill out some of these spots here and you can even go back to your original splatter layer grab 
the eraser tool of let's say a soft round brush here so reset brushes and you can erase some of these splatters that you don't think are working too well just try to shape your general uh, splatter into a certain direction that makes it look like the guy is being splattered or dispersed to one side so once you've done that there's one more thing that you have to do to make it look more realistic you can head over to layer new layer again drag it on top of your original layer but under this new layer and then grab your splatter brushes again I'm gonna have to load them back up so replace brushes and click those and then the same thing that I did for the outside I'm going to try to do more on the inside of our guy so we'll do one there and we'll grab a smaller brush here and just try to make some splatters inside the person's body or the object's body doesn't matter what color you're using because we're going to create another clipping mask here so duplicate the original layer again drag it on top of this one and again option command G to create a clipping mask or layer create clipping mask and again go to filter liquify but this time we're going to push the background in on the person so just we're gonna push the clear blue sky in like so and as you can see that makes it look like these pieces were pulled away from the actual object and just like we did earlier we can grab our eraser tool erase some of these lines that aren't really fitting well and pretty much tune it to your liking now of course the more detail you pay attention to the direction and the flow of these splatter brushes the better your final result is gonna look so I did this in one take but I wasn't really liking the way the splatters came out so I just went through and erased some parts took my brush and slightly refilled some areas to create this more directed and just better looking splatter but the method was the same so that just goes to show you that even if you don't like it the first time you can always just go through and keep adding small details until it fits the flow of your image better but in the end that is how to do the dispersion effect and at this point you can add any text or turn this into whatever type of project you wanted or just leave it like this if you have any questions or comments leave a comment below or send me a message and I'll be glad to help you and hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching and I'll see you next time